Greetings to you, my dear friend. I hope all is well by the grace of God. In Genesis chapter 2, verse 7, the Bible says, And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground. In Genesis chapter 2, verse 9, the Bible says, And out of the ground made the Lord God to grow every tree that's pleasant to the sight and good for food. In Genesis 2.19, the Bible says, And out of the ground the Lord God formed every beast of the earth and every fowl of the air. Mankind was made from the ground. Trees came from the ground. Animals were made from the ground. All living things have certain basic elements. Carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, they make up about 96% of all living things. And then the others like phosphorus and sulfur and calcium. Which means that in a certain sense, we are all interconnected. Let me say that again, but I'll say it differently. What happens to the environment in Australia should concern someone living in Sweden. What happens to the rainforest in Brazil should concern someone living in Poland because we are in some sense all a part of creation which should place upon us a godly Christ-like concern for the world in general and for people in particular. It is contrary to the philosophy of creation to say that is not my business, what's happening in Cambodia, I'm living in the United States. In the book Historical Sketches, page 143, paragraph 5, the author makes an interesting statement. We are all woven together in the great web of humanity. Somehow, what one person does has a chain reaction. Now, the chain reaction may not be recognized or noticed, but because of the way creation was put into place, one person's behavior has an effect on someone else, whether that effect is seen or unseen. My listening friend, the animals from the ground, plants from the ground, human beings from the ground, and the fish in the sea have the same basic elements. We are in a certain sense one ecosystem, one living system, and the disruption at one end affects the entire system. Spiritually, you and I have a responsibility to do all we can to preserve the system as God made it, despite the presence of sin. Let me say that again. You and I have a responsibility to do all we can, first, by living a Christ-like life, to preserve the system as God originally intended, despite the presence of sin. That terrible earthquake in Turkey and Syria, that should concern us in some way or another, whether we can respond financially or materially or by consistent prayer. That is a part of us. Why? Because we are a part of this system. I say again, animals from the ground, plants from the ground, people from the ground, all the basic elements of life in all living things are the same. Carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, the major ones that make up 96%, so the experts say, of all living things. All of this was set up by the Creator. As you keep the Sabbath holy, remember, you are not an island to yourself. You have a responsibility to environment. You have a responsibility to your society. Let that responsibility be grounded in the fact that the Creator set up a system in which everyone has a part to play, everything has a part to play. May the Lord bless you as you keep the Sabbath holy and you seek His wisdom to play your part to His glory. God bless you and your family.